Some districts making changes to the masking rules at the last minute. Some parents are left scrambling to decide whether they're going to send their kids back into classrooms. Royce Jones is live with the impact all the uncertainty is having on cyber schools. Royce. Well, good evening, Ken. According to a representative from PA Cyber, last year saw its highest enrollment on record with more than 2,500 students on the waiting list. And things could be headed in that direction again because of masks. The debate over universal masking from the Baldwin Whitehall School District to one of many statewide parent groups advocating for personal choice. It's not anti mask, or it's not anti science, or anti vaccine. It's really just trying to give parents the right to choose. But while he is keeping his children in school, others are now pulling theirs from the public school system. Quite a few. And, and I keep meeting more. It is significant, and it is often because of masks. According to CEO Brian Hayden from PA Cyber, mask wearing has ignited an enrollment explosion with hundreds of parents submitting last minute inquiries before school starts. Tuesday, um, we had 142 web inquiries waiting for us when they came in Tuesday morning. Um, two years ago, we had 75 on the same day. While anticipating high enrollment, PA Cyber did just hire a wave of new instructors. However, their cap on students set by the state is 11,677, and enrollment numbers are already over 10,000 and growing. This week has been another like kind of record-breaking week. If the pace continues, PA Cyber could max out for the second year in a row, meaning parents considering cyber school should not sit on submitting their inquiries. PA Cyber starts school on Monday. Now, the interesting thing is, is that it's not just parents who don't want their kids wearing masks in the classroom. According to PA Cyber, it's also parents who live in districts without mask uh, recommendations in place who do want all students to have masks on, universal masking, and they don't feel comfortable with that. Live downtown, on the North Shore rather, Royce Jones, KDKA News. Yep, you can understand the concern either way. Royce, thank you.